Okay. Welcome everyone. This is our second episode for the ICF um, coaching scenarios where we will be presenting the, um, the possible answers for the ICF uh, test and we will be discussing uh, which one is the best case scenario and worst case scenario for every uh, question. Uh, with us today is Mr. Angelos Zerlopas, CEO and uh, head trainer of Positivity Global Coaching, and Eva Tsigu, uh, which is an associate and a tutor uh, in our programs. Welcome. Hello, Thank you everybody. for being here. Thanks. Thank you for having Thank. me. Thank you very much, Helen. Thank you very much for introducing us. Hello, Eva. How are you today? Hi, I'm, I'm very well, Angelos. Thank you. Look forward to our, our continuous uh, digging into the, the thought process behind the scenarios of the ICF uh, knowledge test. That's right. And I think it's a wonderful opportunity for people to uh, get their proper preparation for the ICF digital exam. Yeah. Uh, so why don't we start right now and yeah. let's look at our first scenario for today. OK, we're, we're going kind of through the co core competencies, right? And this is, I think, number three. Um, That's uh, not right. the... Thank you for that. Mm -hmm. Yes, Helen, can you um, read the scenario for us? Yes. Please. Okay. So a client has been late to several coaching sessions. You, you've discussed this with them, but the pattern continues. Does it sound familiar? <laughs> um, luckily, not. Uh, I've had a couple of cases. Well, yes. When I, I well, I have some boundaries. When they're late ten minutes, then that's all. I still I send a reminder at five minutes and a goodbye. I missed you today. <laughs> yeah. The ten minute right. mark. Yeah, that's. Yeah, I do the same thing. Um, it's it's just then when the client comes back, how does one deal with with a situation like that? You start questioning their commitment. You start questioning whether they clearly understood the agreement, um, but that you've partnered with them. Um, so um, yeah, there's some um, these these are these are scenarios that are really uh, very interesting because they're real. They do pop up and and it. It kind of uh, shows the coach's uh, response time, let's say, or you know uh, how quickly the coach can uh, can respond to to such a situation. So um, let's yeah. look at some of the options. It would be interesting to to check them out. Okay, so the first response: I am starting to feel disrespected by your tardiness. Response B, let's review our initial agreement about session times and see if we can adjust it. Response C, I understand that things come up, but it's important to be punctual. And response D, perhaps we should consider rescheduling the session to a time that works better for you. So what hmm. do you think? Interesting. <laughs> okay. Uh, Angelos, you want to put some input here, or can I just uh, jump yeah, in? Yeah, that's uh, that's. But there are so many things that you can comment on that. As I was looking at the possible responses, which kind of leaves out some of the things that I had in mind, like what well, the boundaries that I have talked about earlier, and the way that I frame that in the in my contract. So I put some uh, rules there, uh, so mm -hmm. I can. Go, go back there and uh, have that uh, proper contracting or recontracting if possible and so on. Yeah. Uh, and um, however, these are not, um, these are not included here in the responses. So uh, we should pick from the ones that are available and not exactly what we're doing perhaps uh, as individuals, as professionals. 
So I don't know where to start. I'm starting to feel in disrespect for, by your tardiness. No, because that will that's that's not sound professional, and it's about it's making the conversation about me instead of you or the relationship and how we are um, and how far we are committed to make this a successful partnership. Uh, what do you think? Yeah, I definitely uh, response A for me is uh, about about the coach. I mean, he's expressing uh, uh, his uh, feelings, and and it's not professional. It's not a professional. He's not uh, partnering with the client. Um, he's um, for me, it's um, it's a no. I would not. Uh, to me, that would be a worse uh, answer. Yeah, I agree. It looks like it's the word, the worst answer. How about response B? Let's review our agreement and see if we can adjust it. Um, how does that sound? Hey, that that to me sounds like a, a partnership. Like your your uh, the coach is. Uh, revisiting the uh the establish and the the co-creation of the relationship um and and um is asking the is 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 really partnering with them to see if they need to make some changes okay some adjustments um yeah yeah so that yeah. to me is 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 a more more of a coaching uh let's say uh, intervention uh -huh. and and intervention it shows, <laughs> <laughs> and it shows partnership like let's review together um which is um, very important in, in in establishing a coaching relationship and i would say yeah, that's 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 possible yes yeah, it's, it sounds like number three maintains the agreement, establishes and maintains the agreement. Pretty exactly. much like in the way that we are uh, working during uh, the the content, the, the main process of the coaching session. Going back, looking at the contract, see if that's still valid for the client or do we need to adjust. Uh, but right. however, we will have to agree that again to see yeah. if there's a need to uh, change the contract in some form so i think that's a possible yes mm -hmm. now see i understand that things come up but it's important to be punctual now, <laughs> i don't care no, what no, happens no. in your world <laughs> <laughs> um that that is very directive um, it's very directive it's the way uh to phrase the language that we the 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 coach is using here is like um, direct insult to their own integrity. Right. I understand that, but it's important. Which I mean, um, the, the second part of the phrase cancels the first part of the phrase. So yeah, yeah, what's happening it, here? Make it, up it, your mind. It shows understanding, okay, which is you know uh, empathy. And, uh, but you know importance to be punctual i mean that's the coach's uh, position or yeah opinion yeah. now it, obviously it's not that important because this client for the client because this client has been you know uh, constantly late for his session so no for me that would be a, yeah. a very directive uh, and uh, not not really partnering with the with a client to come up with a solution that is viable for both. I would say that sounds like an old school boss. Yeah, yeah. Here's what is important. Yeah, yeah. And you got, we have to stick by the rules, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Or else. Okay. D. So response D. Perhaps we should consider rescheduling the sessions to a time that works better for you. I, when I read that, I mean, it, it, 
it sounds like really quite a, an accommodating type of, you know, uh, uh, response to, uh, to, to this situation mm. and, and not, uh, not really, uh, um, there is partnership here, uh, mm -hmm. but you know, it's, it's a one, it's not really a partnership. It's one sided. It's like, what works better for you? Um, yeah. here we're talking about, you know, a relationship. So that's two people, the coach and the coachee. So in, in that respect, you're not really, uh, honoring the, that, that, what we call that partnership. So, uh, I, I would not, that for me would not, would be a no to. Yeah, I like how you frame that Eva. Uh, uh, on the one hand, at first, I would say mm, that might be a possible yes, in the sense that, yeah, sometimes it's important that to have the boundaries and everything. And uh, as I said earlier, but on the other hand, clients well being and making sure that this is the right time to have a session and so that it will be uh, the outcome will be fruitful. It will be the the client will be functional, and it's the good time. So maybe maybe in some cases, it's good to ask the client to make a, a judge, make a decision whether this whether they are in position to move forward with the session itself, especially if they sound very much disturbed or stressed or sad or whatever. Yeah, and, a lot of assumptions but, we can make. But. Yeah, but as you as you said, that would be um, would not take the ownership away from the client. It would still be in partnership with the client. But yes, as you said, this is this sounds more like you're taking care of the other one, like. Uh, playing the mother or something here that uh, and uh, it's not how coaching works. Right, right. Uh, this is this sounded to me a bit of like a tra transactional, you know, uh, <laughs> scenario response. Like, um, you know, uh, you you would know best, so I'll I'll listen to what you said. But you mm. know, in, in coaching, if we are to build a coaching relationship where there's the responsibilities on both sides, I think that that needs to be uh, clear in the beginning in, in forming the, uh, in establishing the agreement yeah. for the relationship. So are we ready to disclose what's the best and what's the worst case scenario here? Okay, Abra, Kadabra. Ta-da, here we are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As we said, response A is the worst scenario. I'm starting to feel disrespected by your tardiness. Remember, we said that uh, it's not about you. Uh, it's yes. about the making the relationship successful. In number uh, and uh, the second response is the best scenario. Yeah. Let's review our initial agreement about session times and see if we can adjust it. That goes straight to num competency number three, establishes and maintains agreement. So, periodically, mm -hmm. when there's a reason, review and um, do a recontracting if uh, you feel that's needed. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and In like, partnership with the client. Uh, response A, um, starting to, it's it's like it also puts the client in a, on the spot. I mean, it's really yeah. a quite a you know a, 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 a dangerous. Uh, I would say in in terms of I could see the relationship just you know disintegrating with a response like that. <laughs> so. Yeah, uh, it could be perceived as a threat towards the client. Yeah. Yeah. I'm starting to feel disrespected by your tardiness. Yeah, <laughs> and we're talking about the beginning of, of a coaching relationship here. So yeah. the the importance of, of really the client feeling that they that you are with them, that you are you're really a partner, 
and you do respect them and, and you do acknowledge um, whatever it is that might come up for them, which it shows up in response B, I think. Um, yeah. is, is really fundamental. Yeah. Uh, another way to look at it uh, is response A, the, client, the, the coach has issues. Mm, yeah. He's getting irritated by, you know, the client's hardiness. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is this is really an interesting scenario. Like I said, it does happen, and it's it's really um, when I, I I've I've been going through some of these um, you know mock uh, exams uh, uh, online, and I find that really some of the scenarios it it's it's the uh, it, it it's it shows the the, the readiness of, of the client of, of, and the flexibility of the coach to respond to a situation at the moment. Yeah, so here's a tip. If, dear colleague, you feel that you are starting to feel disrespected by your client's tardiness, talk to your supervisor. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> there's really there's definitely some work to be done there. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Should we move on to the next scenario? Absolutely. Which is competency okay. number four. And um, that's an interesting oh, one. Culturally, you know the future. Trust and safety. Okay. Helen, so, how are you feeling? I'm uh, very pumped up and ready to go. So, a right. client is hesitant to share their personal struggles due to fear of judgment. Wow. A client is hesitant to share their personal struggles due to fear of judgment. Yeah. How can we have a, a, a coaching session where the cl client are not sharing their struggles and challenges? I'm wondering. Well, here I think. Um... This is where you know you you need to work on cultivating the tr the safety and the trust uh, with yeah. you, with your client and and the an important part of that is is um, showing empathy uh, for what the client is what the clients for what the clients bringing up so yeah. uh, there yeah go on. Um, yeah, so it, it, this is this is something that happens quite often, where um, you have clients that um, are not very comfortable with sharing their feelings, uh, and with uh, uh, you know personal uh, matters. So I think that you know uh, the coach's job here is to acknowledge that that is you know it's real for them. Which means they respect their, you know, their their clients, um, and it it shows support that they understand what they're where they're coming from. So I, I'm interested to see what kind of uh, you know and uh, scenarios come up, or what kind of um, you know possible uh, uh, let's say options would be here. responses. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm also curious, I'm, I'm but really I was, curious. As, I was, as I was listening to you, I would say yes, that there are so many things that you can do that or that you should do in order to create this um, environment of trust and psychological safety with the client. But I fear, I'm very curious to see, because a client who is acting or thinking like that, um, that usually means that the coach has done something wrong, one or more things. And um, I'm curious. So let's move uh, forward and see the uh, scenarios. Could, could I go back to what you just said? Because it's interesting. Yeah. Yes. Uh, the coach has done something wrong. Uh, could you just elaborate a little bit on that? In my experience, usually the client, usually, there are always exceptions. Of mm -hmm. course, no one is. Uh, not everyone is the same, 
but usually the clients who are coming to the coaching session, uh, they are waiting to open their mouth and their mind and trust the process uh, in hope that they will benefit from the process. Mm -hmm. uh, however, I when uh, we first meet with the clients, I make sure um, I make sure that I uh, it's very clear for them that everything. Uh, is uh, that will be shared and said is uh, under um, confidentiality. Mm -hmm. And what does that mean exactly? And how much it's thing is important for me as a professional and the code of ethics, blah, blah, blah. And however, I also believe that it's very important so the client can feel trust in, uh, in me and in the process so they and feel trust in feeling. Uh, that it's okay, that it's safe to feel vulnerable, not knowing so they can uh, change hats, for example, yeah. from how they usually perhaps expect it, especially mm -hmm. in a working environment. So I make that kind of conversation and what did, uh, the response that I get usually is uh, like a relief and then they let go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that 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 can happen, but there there's an upside to that, um, or a downside. Anyway, uh, that um, a, a coach that's introverted uh, has a dif difficulty even understanding their emotions or or naming their emotions. I think the uh, the the work that needs to be done by the coach is really um, cultivating um, an environment where they feel that they are, like you said, with that there's there's confidentiality, that they, but there's also respect. And, and it's a non-judgmental um, space and acknowledges also um, the, uh, the client's, um, you know, uh, uniqueness or, you know, whatever it is they're feeling. Um, I think that that's important. Uh, it, it shows that it demonstrates, I think, that um, that you are uh, you are uh, respectful and you do you do acknowledge, uh, you know, their own, you know, their the who they are, who they are. I noticed what you said. Uh, I would take a slightly different approach. Uh, I don't want to box people uh, and me myself being part introvert part extrovert and observing others and reading about that mm. being an introvert does not mean that you don't want to disclose it's mainly about sure. uh energy where do i get my energy and usually um introverts feel very uh comfortable when they are having a conversation with one or two people so mm -hmm. it's ideal I don't know right. about extroverts, uh, yeah. because the... yeah, I didn't mean to to you know uh, stereotype. Um, uh, what what I was saying is more that the, uh, I find that people have a hard time uh, um, tuning into their emotions, tuning into their yeah. feelings, and naming them. Need um, uh, for the uh, an environment. That that is more that's very supportive and very empathetic, in order for them. And I think that the yeah. coach uh, can can help in 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 preparing yeah. that ground for them to mm. you know to, we we to can learn be partners. more about themselves. Right, we we can be partners with uh, our clients in uh, uh, helping them grow and become more skillful in understanding. Uh, what are their right. emotions and what are their uh, thoughts? And I think one way to do that, there's always so many uh, ways to do uh, the same things, but one way to do that was to start from their observations about the external environment, other people, yeah. and then move on gradually inwards to see what is happening inside of them uh, by observing whatever, firstly, and then uh, by naming that and finding the, the words to make yeah. meaning. 
but I think, well, as coaches, we have so many techniques uh, sleeves, yeah, and sure. one of them is like mirroring, sharing, um, uh, and asking thought provoking questions and so on. So right. anyway, that's a, a great conversation. Thank you. And it's, but it's a big conversation as well. Uh, what do you say? Do we are we ready to move on to the possible responses? Yeah, like response say, don't worry, I won't judge you. You can trust me. Really? You can trust okay. me. Okay. <laughs> I'm number one in my game. Boy, this is not client centered here. <laughs> this is this is like a superstar. Yes. <laughs> and, I win all the cases. Stick with yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah, well, uh, when I, I, is coming. Yeah. I read that, I said, OK, um, I would I would that's a no for me. That's like that's a, a worst uh, response. Um, yeah. Let's create a safe space where we can share your thoughts and feelings without fear, without fear, mm -hmm. without fear. You didn't like that. We didn't like naming. The negative. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't like that because let's create a safe space. I mean, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, that part is good. Yeah, okay. But without fear, like maybe there's no fear. That's a, that's an assumption. That's an assumption. Yeah. yeah. And a judgment. Maybe. However, remember, uh, let's re uh, remember our viewers that we are not always looking the the, the perfect answer, we are no. looking the best and the That's worst right. among the ones that are being available here, the ones that are being given. So let's say it's a maybe. It is a maybe, yes. I, I, I mentioned where my, you know, uh, where I have reservations. Yeah, um, I agree. C, it's important to be open and honest with me. Okay. Mm. Um, that's another uh, lesson that um, yeah. it, it teacher mode, I call it, that the uh, the coach is going into here. Or father mode. Excuse me. Or father mode. Or it's father important mode. to be open and yes. honest with me. That's right. Or else. Um, okay, uh, D. I understand that it can be difficult to talk about personal issues. Yeah. Um, for me, that would be the, the best scenario. Would it? Yes, um, and I'll explain why. Um, first of all, you're acknowledging that there is a difficulty there that uh, the, the person is expressing. You're acknowledging yeah. their feeling. Um, and and I mean, I, and the situation, and you're respecting the fact that they. They, they do have that difficulty. But it sounds like uh, it's like going to the doctor, to your GP for cholesterol. Oh, it's it's pretty normal in your age to have cholesterol. Uh, I get away say I don't have to do nothing. It's normal. OK, so Can't you're saying it's more of There's an no... Okay. It's like, yeah, I understand it's difficult. Let's forget it. Move on to the next one. Why bother? It's normal. Mm -hmm. It but does. I mean, it's good, but it it does not move you forward, does it? Okay. I understand that it can be difficult to talk about personal issues. And, and, but I came to you for that. True. To be able to yeah. talk about personal issues. If, wouldn't that be a, a, sta a, a statement uh, or a response that could unlock possibilities? Would that phrase by itself unlock possibilities? Is that what you said? It needs something more. Mm. I think it needs a little bit more like let's create a safe space 
where you can share your thoughts and feelings? Or what would you need what, yeah. to have a safe space with me? Exactly. Okay. That to me would be a, a much better response. Um, like what, what, what would you need really? Because mm. I mean, I, I have my own, uh, let's say, uh, prerequisites for a safe space. Um, others yeah. have other. So you're, you're kind of, you know, it, it, putting everyone in, in uh, but generalizing or overgeneralizing maybe. I would vote but, for response B. You, you would vote for response B. Well, I can understand what you're saying about response D. Um, but okay. Um, can I explain why? I, I'm not convinced that response D would not really be. Um, it, it's not the worst for me. It's not the worst uh, response. It's not the worst. No, but where where are you acknowledging the person's, you know, um, uh, feelings about, you know, um, opening up? Or... I think it's implicit. Let's create a safe space where you can share your thoughts and feelings. Mm. Okay. And uh, I think this these are steps to build trust. A to the coach. B to the coaching relationship and C to the club we will both create that we will jointly we will join efforts to create so it's a partnership okay. yes it's a yes. partnership towards... it's a partnership but it's not only a partnership it's building trust in the professional in the relationship and in yourself as a client as well you need to build trust in everything. I mean, that's perfect if you can right. build in all three aspects the trust. The, because at the end, you say, well, yeah, this is the right process and it works for me. I can work with that and I can make that happen. You, it, it gradually, it can possibly, uh, potentially build up, start building some kind of trust. Yes, I can do that. I can make this relationship happen together with that coach and how they explained uh, what we're going to do together to me and uh, I can that will work for me I can do that and I can come I can commit I believe in that and and I believe in that and that includes that I believe in myself functioning well in that role uh, ideally yeah that would be good. very good i understand so you sold that <laughs> so <laughs> it's so yeah so okay so worst You're right. is don't worry i won't judge you you can trust me uh yeah. maybe if you run for the, the elections <laughs> yeah. it, it sounds like a pre-election uh, right. slogan <laughs> not not for coaching and response <laughs> B let's create a safe space where you can share your thoughts and feelings without fear well it, okay. could this response get better yes it could but given the um, ones that we have here I think it's it's the best. We got a winner. It's the best. Yeah, it's the best. Okay. Yeah. Like I said, um, I was kind of uh, playing devil's advocate on D because I wanted to really explore that a little bit further. Um, yeah. And thank you for your input on that. And um, the possibilities of response B are 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 more in in creating a a, a space. It's in creating safety and trust for the client. So, yeah. Yes. Thank you, Eva. The more I look at that answer, the more I like it. 
Yeah, let's create a safe space. That opens up a conversation about how to create a safe space, how to make this uh, happen, and what does the client need. So, yeah. And I think that concludes today's best and worst coaching wow, scenarios. Wow, time goes by fast. In preparation for your ICF digital exam. <laughs> and we'll meet again next week, right? Right. Yeah, we'll go through the, the core competencies, I think. Um, we have, uh, two, uh, it would probably take another two sessions, right? Only? Okay, I was prepared yeah. for more. Let's see. Well, yeah, we can make more. We can, you know, there's a lot of things we, like, we can talk yeah. about. We can talk for, for hours. <laughs> Yeah, we have much, uh, many more scenarios to go through, uh, but we want to see how, what are the reactions. So if you have any comments, please write your comments, send us your comments below uh, the video and like, uh, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much. And follow us much. on social media also. And, uh, we are yeah. everywhere. <laughs> Thank you. It was great. Thank you. Have a good day. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.